Hello, Carpet Cleaning World. And this is your host and administrator, Roger Lloyd, for Roger Lloyd's Friday Night Insights at our new Carpet Cleaning World Cafe. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I would like to believe is one of those powerful videos that will really help you and answer a lot of your questions, especially the newcomers to the industry. I get a lot of calls and inboxes every day from preferably my YouTube viewers, not the carpet cleaning world as much, but more from YouTube. And they are under the impression, like a lot of you overworked, exhausted, tired carpet cleaners that think that you really can do this any way you want. Well, let's let's talk about this. Let's just really break it down. Now, what's the difference between a carpet cleaner and a single truck operator? Well, I'm glad you asked. The typical carpet cleaner, which is probably you out there, is very tired and you're focused on Facebook advertising or Google AdWords or something like that to produce most of your work or your business. And a lot of you are working by yourself. That is a carpet cleaner. Now, the difference is you're not going to grow beyond where you're at. And if you're okay with that, then so be it and get on at it. But don't lie to yourself because in order to grow your business and own a carpet cleaning business, you have to be a single truck operator. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, Roger, what's the difference? I'm glad you asked. The difference is a single truck operator works on his business and not in his business. As I explained last week on Friday Night Insights, the roles that a single truck operator or business owner has to hold. Number one, you need two components to be a single truck operator. The first is you need an office assistant. Oh, yes, you do. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. The sex, second thing you need is a helper. Oh, yes, you do. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. But let's talk about the first thing. Let's talk about the office assistant. Let's talk about that. I've been introducing to you for the last three weeks, Janae Riley, who is my marketing slash office assistant. What she does, I cannot do. So why do I lie to myself and say that I can do this or I can still make a couple of dollars? Yes, I can make a couple of dollars, but I'm never going to grow my business the way that I'm doing it or the way that I should. So I do need an office assistant. I'm going to tell you why. She's going to answer the phone every day the same way, not tired, not stressed out. And her job is to do what? Get the client scheduled, call me commercial businesses, introduce me, do the follow-ups, keep me in the door, and then my job takes over from there where I'm working on my business and not as much in my business. I can go sell and explain to the facility that I'm giving a carpet inspection to why they need my services. But I don't have to worry about the follow-up. I don't have to worry about calling them back. I don't even have to worry about rescheduling them after they're happy with the job. 
because that's not my title. That's not my responsibility. My job is to get the job, to sell it, and make sure that my clients understand my vision, my purpose, my story that's going to help them get what they need from me, which is carpet cleaning, professionally done, that's safe, and to keep their textiles looking and preserved for as long as they can be. Now, and that's the one most important component that a off that a single truck operator needs. The second important component is a helper. Now you see here, I put the helper slash technician. Why do we need the helper slash technician? Because before they can ever be a technician, they have to be a helper. They have to understand my story and the way I'm doing things for BioClean. Everyone has to have a dream. Then they have to turn that into a vision and they have to put a story behind it so they can make it something that they can lead someone into believing and doing for them. So I need a helper that is going to get trained by me after being a helper so long so he can soon graduate to being a technician. This is very important. Now, yes, you can be a carpet cleaner. You can be a carpet cleaner, but all I want you to do, if nothing else after this video, I don't want you to lie to yourself. I want you to understand that if you're going to do everything and you're going to do it half because one man is not his own island. First of all, your office assistant should not be someone that has three or four kids that's just answering the phone for a couple of dollars. Your office assistant should be someone that has some type of training or schooling in corporate America. So when she's answering your phones, when she's calling your potential clients, she knows the corporate American, corporate America sales jargon and communications to get you in the front door. Don't be like, oh, Roger, don't worry about it. My wife handles all that. Oh, yeah, well, what degree does she have? And if your wife is watching, I'm very sorry that I'm causing you a problem, but I'm really not. I need her to understand this too. What degree does she have? What schooling or education does she have? Now, if she does have the schooling, if she does have the knowledge, then great. But then does she believe in your dream? Does she believe in your vision? Does she believe in your story? See, that's what you have to ask yourself. I'm not telling you I don't want you to get your wife or your girlfriend, or whatever you got, not to answer the phones for you. But you have to understand, this is like your baby. This is your business. You have to rock it to sleep every night. You have to nurture it. You have to give it milk bottles. You know what you have to do. If someone does not respect your baby, or if they're not trustworthy, you're not going to leave your infant in their care. So why would you leave your business, which is your baby, in someone's care that doesn't care about your baby the way you do? Come on, guys. You have to understand, if you're going to be a carpet cleaner, just like I told the gentleman earlier today from YouTube, who's now a member of this group, he can be a carpet cleaner. There's his other guys that he says, he watches their videos on YouTube, and he just loves it. He said, Roger, they go out here every day. They do two or three jobs, and they're showing that they're making some money. But don't get me wrong. I just told you, if you want to be a carpet cleaner, then be a carpet cleaner. But if you want to be a single truck operator that's going to grow into a sellable business, even if you don't sell it, you want to believe that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Being a single truck operator, you have an office assistant that's doing everything that an office assistant is supposed to do in the office for your business. That does not mean she has to work in an office. That just means she has to have a quiet background with a headset and a computer at her private residence with a forwarded number from your company to do what you need her to do. 
or him or him. But the thing is this, you also need a helper. You know why? Because even when you're on that job site, you have to sit in the truck. You have to take inventory. You have to make calls. You have to deal with the office assistant. You need someone that is going to be able to understand how to use all the pieces of equipment that you purchase and know how to operate the truck mount, the portable, the OP machine, the CRB machine. They need to understand how to operate all of that. That's why they're a helper and they're going to grow into being your lead technician. But if you're really trying to grow into a business and be a business owner and be a single truck operator, you need to hire you an office assistant. And if you don't know how, you don't want to go all into that, then you can hire Janae Riley from RLMA. She's setting it all up. So you can have yourself an office assistant. Now, I can't help you with the technician slash helper. You have to do that yourself. But at least I took maybe some of the headache right off your plate. But I'm explaining to you whether you use Janae Riley or RLMM or whatever, you can need you need to have an office assistant. I hope you understand what I am saying to you. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's very serious if you want to grow your business and what I'm trying to explain to you right now. It's very important. And you can do it. You have help now. Someone is explaining to you what you need. So I know what you're saying. Well, Roger, when do I, what if I want to grow in the two trucks? Exactly. That's when your helper turns into a technician. But you should at least be making $6,000 a month consistently, in my opinion, before you grow into a true truck operation. Do you understand what I'm trying to explain to you? Everything should lead into the next thing. No, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to my systems, but it makes sense. It's a formula to follow for success. Why do you want to come to work every day as the owner operator and you have to sit there and you say to yourself, okay, well, was I going to do some marketing today? Oh, I got to try to call this lady back. Oh, I got to call this lady. Oh, Miss Johnson complained that one spot wick back in the carpet. I got to call her back. Why do you want to do all that when you can hire RLMA or you can hire another assistant of your liking to take care of all those minute headaches for you? Why do you want to deal with that? Why do you want to have to worry about about wrapping up hoses and, and wiping the hoses off and wiping everything down at the end of the day. Why do you want to do that and you call yourself an, a, a business owner or a single truck owner operator? You're not. You're a carpet cleaner. Yeah, you go out and you make some money cleaning carpets, but you're not a single truck operator. I'm telling you what you need so you can grow your business. You need an office assistant first. She's going to do all the stuff, make all the little phone calls, do all the things that you don't want to do and you're not going to remember to do. The helper is going to do all the things like dragging the hose in, put the sealer door up, put the wall buddies up, put the shoe cover booty machine so your customers can slide their feet right in the shoe cover machine. They're going to do all the setup, all the pack up, all the things you as an owner operator, a single truck owner operator should not have to do. See, what you have to understand is you have a responsibility. The office assistant has a responsibility and 
the helper slash technician has a responsibility. And if you understand what I'm saying, and if you listen to me, you can have a much more successful and fun running business with this carpet cleaning. And you'll feel like a business owner. Why did you go into this business if you did not want to be successful and work smarter than harder? There are so many carpet cleaners that I talk to every day that are so tired out, so exhausted, so just mind warped. They don't know what they did, why they got into this business, or what they're even doing. And then you have the ones that call you up that, that, that's listening to these guys and they don't know where to start or where to stop. So why do it? I just told you what you needed and it didn't cost you a dime. You don't have to go out and find an office assistant. You can call RLMA or you can inbox me and I'll get you started with my people. And then you go and grow from there. But you need to do this today. You need to do this now. And if you have someone, make sure that they're of corporate America. Don't hire your sister-in-law. Don't hire your sister. And if your wife is not in belief in what you do, then don't even hire your wife. You need someone that believes in you and what you do. It's imperative. You guys join these Facebook groups. You guys go on YouTube. You guys go to the conventions. You listen to all this help. But when are you guys going to do anything about it? Do you understand you can go from being broke today, today to making money next week consistently by listening to what I'm telling you right now? by listening to what I'm telling you right now. You can go on Craigslist, put an ad, it'll cost you $15 to hire you a helper. $15 for 30 days, they will run an ad. And don't hire the first guy you see. Go through, make some applications, put something on your website, make them appreciate what you have to offer. Make it feel like a career. Don't just say, hey, I'm looking for a carpet cleaner helper. Yeah, I need a guy that's going to drag my hoses. Like, don't do that. Make them feel like they belong to your dream, to your story for your business so you can lead them into victory. Now, this is the part that's going to hurt you. The office assistant, she has to be better at corporate America than you are. She has to be sharper. She has to know what to say. She has to know the corporate America jargon. She has to be the one that's on your front line that knows how to deal with the customers that you really want. That's going to pay you all year round. That's going to get you some of them contracts. Let me share something with you today. I've been telling you Janae Riley from RLMA has been calling daycare centers in the Montgomery County, Pennsylvania area for me. Every daycare that she got me for an estimate, I got the job. I got the job, but not only did I get the job, I got them on a maintenance plan. Now today, I did one of the largest um, uh, daycare center franchises in Montgomery County, which is the Goddard School. I talked to the lady today. I said she was very happy with the work. I said, let me ask you a question. She said, what's that? I said, how would you feel if you could give all of your parents a free gift that won't cost you anything, but it'll mean everything to them, but it's a free gift from you? She was like, sure, sure. What's that? I said, I would like to give all of your parents a letter with you introducing us to them but at the bottom of the letter is a gift card for $20 off 
any bio clean service that they might want to use. And she was like, oh, sure. Now, she has 90 kids, 90 kids in her summer program that are going to be at her Goddard School Daycare Center. 90. Now, she's allowing me to give her 90 letters and 90 gift cards for her to give to all of her parents, introducing me from her with a $20 gift card. Now, do you understand that if I was a burnt out, tired, trying to do it myself, carpet cleaner, I could not have came up with that marketing strategy that fast on the tip of my tongue as soon as the lady was so excited because she loved the way her daycare center looked and smelled that she was ready to do something, which I keep trying to explain to you, which is reciprocate. She wanted to give back. She liked the work that I did for her, so she wanted to give back. See, when you're a burnt out carpet cleaner, you don't think like that. You're trying to get the tr ho the hoses out to the truck. You're trying to get the ho the truck wrapped up. You're trying to get the check, the credit card, whatever she has, and you're trying to get to the next job or you're trying to get home. There's no fun in that. There's no excitement in that. That's being burnt out and that's being tired. But when you do what I just explained to you, my helper heard the lady was so excited to give all of her parents those gift cards. My office assistant, Janae Riley, was so excited because she saw all the potential of having 90 potential new clients. And then everyone in my operation believed in the Roger Lloyd vision for BioClean. They saw my story, and then they saw me lead my company straight into a potential 90 new client victory. But I could not do that without Janae Riley. I could not, not do that without Tudor, my helper. Roger Lloyd could not have done that by himself if I did not have my frontline team which is my office assistant and my helper slash technician. My name is Roger Lloyd, and I am here to help the carpet cleaning world. If you choose not to just be a carpet cleaner, but you want to be either a single truck operator, and then next week I will tell you, how to grow from a single truck operator into a multi-truck operator. That's next Friday. But you guys need to understand this in steps. The first thing you need to do is get you an office assistant, even before you get a helper. And if you don't know where to start, then hire RLMA. She's great. She's phenomenal. You can inbox me. Or you can go to the website, not website, email address, R-L-M-A, the number four, C-C-W, Carpet Cleaning World, of course. So that's R-L-M-A, the number four, C-C-W, at gmail.com. And you can just talk to her. Or you can call me. I'm getting a little busy. I know I'm not getting back like to you guys as much as I used to. But that's why I have help now. And you really don't need to talk to me unless you have some questions on one of my particular marketing programs. But I'm always here. These videos are always here. And you can always leave a comment. You can inbox me. I'll get back to you. You. You right there. Stop putting off tomorrow what you can do today. I did. I'm no better than you. All I did was I got tired of being a wannabe so I wouldn't have to wind up, wind up being a has-been.
you can become a single truck owner operator with a sellable business, whether you ever sell it or not, if you follow these key components that I shared with you in this video this evening. My name is Roger Lloyd. My phone number is 610-202-2294. I have a residential marketing program. I have a commercial marketing program. I have a few commercial marketing programs. And then I have RLMA to help you on the professional front end of your business for growth. If you're not interested in growing your business or you're fine where you're at, then by all means, just disregard this whole video. But if you want to grow your business into a sellable organization, then you need to you need to call me. You need to inbox me. You need to send an email to us. We're going to help you get there. The Carpet Cleaning World Revolution is, believe it or not, only two months and a couple weeks away. This is all we're going to talk about. When you leave that convention, it's not a convention, it's a conference. Let's be clear. You are going to have all the tools to go back to whatever part of this United States or wherever you're coming from to do one thing, to become a sellable owner operator. This is Roger Lloyd from the carpet cleaning world. It's on you and it always was. Now, what are you gonna do about it? That is the question because it is 2018. And it is the year of the vision where residual income should be your only decision. Hey, now, until the next time, you take care. And remember, this Tuesday night, every Tuesday night, we have the revolution show for the carpet cleaning world. And this Tuesday night, you want to be here for when Nathan Calhoun comes in and he's going to tell you about when duty calls. So be here at 9 Eastern Standard Time or whatever time that is, wherever you're at. And let's listen to what another veteran carpet cleaner has to offer to the carpet cleaning world. Thank you and good night.